everyone, how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University. Welcome to the complete TypeScript course. It looks like TypeScript 2 will be the language that will finally allow us to build our front end and our back end full stack all in the same language. This is something that the industry has been looking for for a very long time. Write once, run anywhere. This is possible with TypeScript 2. We can build our front end in TypeScript and then we can build our backend. We can build, for example, a REST API with TypeScript and we can access, for example, a relational database, get back to results, everything in TypeScript. That's what we're going to learn how to do in this course. We are going to learn the language features one by one. We're going to group the features together where it makes sense because many of the features are really meant to be used together and don't make so much sense when learned completely in isolation, but we will add them progressively to our course. We are going to learn the ECMAScript 6 features that TypeScript allows us to use today, even though they are not available for use in all browsers. We are going to dive deep into the type system of TypeScript 2 and cover all the new features of TypeScript. We are going to build a REST API from scratch, from an empty folder. We are going to build a small front end that it's going to call it using Angular 2. And we are going to build our program in Node.js and TypeScript using some very popular Node.js libraries like Express and SQLize. So the API will of course be a very small API, but it gives you a very good example of how you can build a program full stack in TypeScript, sharing a small part of the code between the front end and the back end, defining custom types. We're going to cover all the new TypeScript 2 functionality, including at types, how to install third party types to make our program progressively more type safe. We are going to learn how to build a program, a full stack program that takes the most advantages of the TypeScript 2 language. The focus will be on functional programming. So the final program will not be using classes, even though we will also cover object oriented constructs in this course. With TypeScript 2, we can build a perfectly type safe backend, not using classes, using only TypeScript type definitions. So that's the priority here in this course. We are going to learn how to build the backend using functional programming principles and the TypeScript 2 type system. So without further ado, let's get started. We are going to install TypeScript. We are going to install an IDE. We're going to be using WebStorm. We are going to learn how to configure the IDE and we are going to dive deep into the language features starting immediately in the next few lessons. So I want to thank you so much for taking this course and I'll see you in the next lesson.